Welcome to Lifestyle Med with Dr. Jade. Health, it's a lifestyle. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Lifestyle Med with Dr. Jade. And this is actually gonna be a on the go with Dr. Jade. Maternity leave is over, I'm back to work, so I'm not at home anymore. I'm on the go everywhere all the time now. So the only realistic way to get these videos in at this point is to do these on the go. So you guys are gonna be on the go with me. My car may be a common place for these videos now, so here we go. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. This channel is all about fitness, nutrition, and primary care hot topics. So if these are topics that are of interest to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And today's topic is about how to quit drinking soda. We're on the West Coast, so we say soda over here. Back Midwest, where I used to be from, we called it pop. So soda, pop, refreshments, however you say it, these carbonated high sugar drinks. We're going to be talking about how to quit drinking them. So are you a soda drinker? Is it hard for you to stop drinking soda? Do you have diabetes? Are you having trouble with weight gain or you're trying to lose weight but it's really hard for you to knock these high sugar drinks out of your diet? If these are things that are of interest to you or apply to you, then stay tuned. I'm gonna give you my top five tips on how I help patients quit drinking soda. So tip number five is to wean down so we look at the amount of soda a person drinks in a day and we just pick a little bit by little bit amount that will wean down so say some people drink soda five times a day we'll try to drink four times a day and we'll just set a goal to decrease progressively and slowly and wean down some people drink it with every meal so we'll say okay if you drink it with breakfast lunch and dinner how about you drink it with breakfast and dinner and do something like water with lunch so weaning down is the first goal seeing how many you drink per day and then trying to do one or two less per day to get closer and closer to your ultimate goal of not drinking soda tip number four water it down so some patients are not ready to decrease the amount that they're drinking per day and they're like hey i drink it with every meal i'm used to doing that it's really hard for me to not do that so i'll say okay water it down and it's not going to taste exactly the same we have to be ready for change right so to make these changes with any of them you have to be like okay i'm ready to make some sacrifices to get towards this goal so with watering it down i say that if you're filling up your cup with soda try filling it up three-fourths with soda and then a little bit of water or you know the other fourth with water or you know whatever amount that you're filling your cup up trying to substitute some of that amount with water and then getting closer and closer to a little more water a little more water over time so trying to water it down is another method that helps a lot of people with decreasing their soda intake Tip number three is to ice it up. So if you're not feeling tip number five where you're gonna decrease the amount per day, if you're not ready for that, and you also don't like the idea of watering down your beverage, you can ice it up. Put lots of ice or increase the amount of ice in your drink and this will decrease the amount of soda you're ingesting. Tip number two is to alternate. So for every amount of soda you drink, you next drink that same amount of water. So a lot of times we're just thirsty. When we're drinking all this sugar, it makes you thirsty. It increases your thirst. Fun fact, did you know that for every 12 ounce can of soda, there is at least 10 teaspoons of sugar in it? Like that is crazy. And most people are gonna, of course, drink more than one can. So alternate for every soda you drink water helps to decrease the thirst and overall should help decrease the amount of soda you're drinking as well tip number one is to carbonate i know it may not taste exactly the same but for a lot of people it's that fizz that carbonation that really makes them want their soda so trying seltzers and other carbonated forms of water there's all types of flavored carbonated waters at this point um, that have I mean, if you go to the aisle now, there are lots of different flavors. It's much more trendy than it used to be. But trying to switch out some of your sodas for some of these carbonated seltzer type waters still gives you the fizz without the calories and without the sugar. And that leads me to my bonus tip, which is hydrate, guys. The sugar, it makes us so thirsty, as I already mentioned. So making sure that we're putting enough water in our body will help us to want less of the soda. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Of course, depending on any medical conditions that you may have, that will maybe change how much hydration you need or how much water you need to drink in a day. But in general, we all need to have the appropriate amount of hydration for our bodies, which will help us to want to drink less soda. At least that's the goal. 
So I hope that was helpful, guys. Those were my top tips on how to decrease soda in your diet. Thanks for, you know, dealing with my new method of filming, which is going to be on the go with Dr. Jade. And a lot of, you know, most of my videos now are going to be on the goes with Dr. Jade. I may have the car seat in the background. I may have, I won't have the baby in the background, but hey, this is the doctor life. So thanks for bearing with me. I love doing these videos as I think of things and see things in my clinic that really um, are challenging areas for patients. I'll do topics on them. And if there are any topics that you all think of that you'd like me to talk about, um, things that can help improve your lifestyle. And of course, me as a primary care physician, my goal is to help you decrease your chronic disease burden and your risk or chance of getting chronic diseases or to reverse them. So those are the type of hot topics I'm going to be doing. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.